Welcome, welcome, welcome to Mr. Gad's Play Shop. My name is Mr. Gad, and I'll be your Mr. Gad for today. In today's video, Mr. Gad will be reacting to the Disney film Cruella. Uh, so if you haven't seen Cruella, or if you've never seen uh, the original film from 1961, Disney's 101 Dalmatians, then now would probably be a good time to bounce and check those out. This video is going to be chock-a-block with tons of spoilers for both films. So if anybody else out there needs a refresher on who Cruella de Vil is, this is Cruella. Isn't that a new fur coat? <laughs> My only true love, darling. I live for furs. I worship furs. Marvelous, how perfectly. Oh, the devil take it, they're mongrels. No spots, no spots at all. What a horrid little white rat. Any way you like, poison them, drown them, bash them in the head. You got any chloroform? I don't care how you kill the little beast, but do it! And do it now! So a monster is who Cruella de Vil is. But interestingly, for a Disney film, not the literal kind of monster that they usually resort to. She's not a creature or an evil magic user or a robot or an alien or any of the other others who usually wind up being the main villain to a Disney film. She's just a garbage human being, just an absolute dumpster fire who is narcissistic. She's completely self-involved. She couldn't care less about other people and she cares even less than that about animals. She's in intensely materialistic. She thinks that money and fashion is everything. Uh, she lives for furs. Couldn't have put it better myself. So that's who Cruella is. I thought it would be interesting to view Cruella through the lens of Dan Harmon's story circle. For anyone who's not already familiar with Dan Harmon's story circle, this is it. This is not the video to explain it because there are much, much better, more in-depth videos on YouTube. You can just run a search for Story Circle to find those. But this is the basic breakdown. And it was a, a method that Dan Harmon came up with for writing television scripts because he noticed he was doing the same things over and over again, much like Joseph Campbell, the person who came up with this formula in uh, the book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces had realized that stories from around the world about a chosen one or a special person or a hero tended to follow this pattern over and over and over again. So we'll see if the same holds true for Cruella. Red, white, and black, I see you. Oh no. <laughs> Starting here? <laughs> the beginning, I Starting with that negativity. Yeah, okay. So the very first words out of Cruella's mouth are negative and a little bit dismissive. That, yeah, that fits. How are you? Miserable, darling, as usual. Perfectly wretched. It just now occurs to me that the hardest point to call on this is probably going to be step one. They are in a zone of comfort or the familiar, right? Like the place where they start their adventure. Um, but just taking a stab at it from the beginning of the film, you couldn't ask for a greater zone of comfort than literal baby crib, baby, I, I don't know, whatever this is. She's all bundled up. She looks safe as houses. I, I have no idea where this is or if she'll become a back here later, but yeah, looks cozy. That necklace is the reason I'm dead, but I'm getting ahead of myself. The sonic pattern as a way of doing things. That's ugly. Including my mother. That's Ooh, names are Stella, not Cruella. You sure about that, Ma? Hi, I'm Anita. Estella. Anita is the name of one of the, the main characters in 101 Dalmatians. And I think they did say that they went to school together. I think that was uh, in the original movie. Must be Cruella, your dearly devoted old schoolmate. Cruella de Vil. <laughs> I found friends in unlikely places. Hello. The dog. Like this guy. Is this a dog? That right. Is. I found him. And okay, hold up. If that dog, that dog had better eat her best friend and set all of her money on fire. What? Cruella's friends with a dog? This is not on brand. Not on. this guy. Her. 
need to die. What a fabulous name. Hold up, hold up, hold up. They're making that her literal name? I, I don't know if that's lazy writing or if that's just the most adorable thing ever. I'm gonna go with both. First official allusion to the original film. Anita, darling! Well, can't be a fashion designer in a small town anyway. Can't be a fashion designer in a small town anyway. Step two was a little bit easier to spot than step one, but they want something. So it's not such a big deal that Cruella has been booted from her elite little school because it means she can go someplace where she can follow her dreams and become a fashion designer. Can we go here? Regent's Park. Perfect. When we get to the city, first thing we'll do, we'll go to the fountain, we'll have a cup of tea, and we'll start planning how to make this London thing work. Hell Hall. I passed. I heard puppy barking over at Hell Hall. You mean the old Deville place? Wear it. It looks good. It's better with that, I think. Be yours one day. It's family heirloom. Blew my mind. Mine too. I had no idea where I was or what it was. I just knew that for the first time in my life, I felt like I belonged. Okay. For sure, for sure, for sure, we have officially entered the unfamiliar. I probably should have caught it when they were literally crossing the threshold into Hell Hall, like crossing through that gate into the land of the unknown, but we are in an unfamiliar situation now. Things. Dalmatians in the first 10 minutes! Yeah, that would do it. Regent's Park. But no tea. Regent's Park, but no tea. Regent's Park. Perfect. When we get to the city, first thing we'll do, we'll go to the fountain, we'll have a cup of tea, and we'll start planning how to make this London thing work. I never should have gone in. I was an orphan. Now it really is a Disney movie. But a new day streets. brings new opportunities. <laughs> More puppies. Petty thieves. Horace. The Badden Brothers. And Jasper. That's what's up. My mom's dead. I skipped over the part where I killed her. I think you should stay here. Be a part of our gang. Shh, what? Oh, what? What? This has not been discussed. It's being discussed now, and we could use a girl to look innocent and be a distraction. Mm, okay, at least they lampshaded that a little bit. That's weird to watch Jasper be nice, like reach out and be empathetic towards somebody, because he's like a sociopath, if not a full-blown psychopath in the original film. Like, that's weird to see him be nice to anybody. I wanted to be a fashion designer, I'm not a thief. That's smart storytelling. Way to go, Disney. I mean, we already heard stage two of the story circle that Cruella's goal in life is to be a fashion designer, but just in case somebody in the audience missed it, they went back and repeated it straight from her own mouth. Don't worry, we're just getting started. There's lots more bad things coming, I promise. Okay, I, I kind of hate this, <laughs> because it messes up my next bit. Hold on, I'll do a magic edit later and, and put that bit here. Uh, yeah, I was going to talk about step four, like adapting to her new situation. She started out in comfort, 
they wanted something. She wanted to become a fashion designer. And then she enters an unfamiliar situation at like the party. And now she's living on the streets. But like adapting to the streets, I thought that was going to be a whole thing. But nah, they just like skipped over years and years and years. But I get it. You paid a lot of money for Emma Stone to be in this movie. So you probably want to skip ahead to that. I'm sure we'll watch Cruella adapt to something at some point. Horace, heads up. Two minutes, it's This is like the cartoon, and they always want to watch TV. Ow, oh, you kill the little beast, but do it! And do it now! Oh, please, miss, now have pity, will ya? Can't we see the rest of the show first? But as good as things were, I felt I was meant for more in this life. And my mom would have wanted all? more for me. I just didn't know what. <laughs> Another movie? There's no way that Disney paid the money for the rights to put this in here without it meaning something. F future Mr. Gad will, will jump in here to explain what this is, because current Mr. Gad doesn't actually know. Future Gad here, doing past Gad's bidding, and past Gad forgets how hard video editing is. It turns out, yeah, there was a reason why Disney put that movie clip in the movie Cruella. That is a movie made by the master of suspense himself, Alfred Hitchcock. It's called Lifeboat. I've never seen it, but now I have to go watch it because I love Alfred Hitchcock movies. And the star you're seeing on the screen there is Tallulah Bankhead, who, as it turns out, is the actress the original Disney animators modeled the mannerisms of Cruella de Vil after. Turns out to be an homage. What's this? Uh, this is an offer of employment from Liberty of London, entry level position. Oh, I hope it's a burger place, right? But it's the most fashionable department store in the city. <laughs> so, the place that Estella hopes will uh, make her dreams come true and set her free is literally named Liberty. Wah, wah. Enhance. Enhance. No, he's, this is a freeze frame. <laughs> but that date, August 3rd, 1977. So this movie's definitely not set in the same timeline or whatever as the original 1961 101 Dalmatians. That's interesting. I don't know. Maybe they're just hedging their bets in case they mess it up real badly and they can say, no, it was an alternate timeline. Regent's oh Park again. Chance. Oh, I'm she brought to... tea. She brought tea to have tea with Trust her mom. Trust me, I'm going to keep my head down and make it. Oh. Cheers. Is a Disney it's movie encouraging that. drinking on the job? Be cruel. I guess she is a villain after all. Grubby girl. Yes. Grubby girl. Jeff Card. Hired. This address, 5 a.m. Don't be picked. Okay, so now we're off to the races. All the problems Cruella's had to deal with up till now have just been unrelated to her goal of becoming a fashion designer. Like, she lost her mom, she had to learn how to survive on the streets as a thief, but now nah, we hadn't definitely been here before. We're definitely here now. She's adapting adapting in a way that's actually going to get her closer to achieving her goal of becoming a fashion designer. Welcome to <laughs> second time around. So I'm Bowie. Art, or art, as in work of. Wow. Hello, new best friend. Day, so. Look, go on the streets. Mm, some abuse and insults, of course, but I like to say that normal is the cruelest insult of them all. Normal is the cruelest insult of them all. All right. This should have been a movie about Artie. Someone competent. Oh. And someone not. This is my lawyer, Roger. Although he's been Roger! Playing piano in a dingy little bar, actually. Playing piano, it is that, Roger! That's... Here, we got our cast, man. We got uh, Anita Darling, and now we got Roger Radcliffe. Spoilers, future husband of Anita Darling. Regent's Park again. I made this. The Baroness said she thinks I'm something. I think that's good. The necklace. Your necklace? No. Oh, family heirloom. Funny story, actually. An employee once stole it. No, she did not. Ooh. 
Ooh, talking smack about mama and you've got her jewelry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Regents Park again. My mother hadn't failed dismally. I had. Then I wasn't going to fail her again. Told you. She always comes here. See? She always comes here. Praise. Whatever you do, don't turn around. <laughs> Wink. Oh, well, don't you stand there getting the game out. Rat dog. Groovy. <laughs> there actually are rats in the building. Okay. <laughs> Yes, aren't they gorgeous? And vicious. It's my favorite combination. Good line. There's a whole mess of different kinds of them. Wink again. It's a hybrid. Wink to the rescue. That's getting to be the thing that bugs me the most about this movie. It's a lot of fun, but these three characters, Jasper and Horace and Cruella, who are dog murderers in the cartoon like they deeply rely on these dogs to pull off their scams it seems like they love them too i don't know it just doesn't fit it just really seems like they should have had a different kind of pet like you think thief you don't think dog you think like trained monkey i mean it worked for aladdin anita dog anita dog Nice. You notice how some dog owners look a lot like their dogs. <laughs> no, never noticed. Another great song. Nice. Heck yeah. Epic! No! They really won't make fabulous kings. Dogs? There she is. <laughs> I'm joking. All right, moment of truth. Moths. That's brilliant. Ooh, gotta pause, gotta pause. As some of you may know, Mr. Gad is addicted to guitar collecting. And that looks like a Gibson Melody Maker. That seems that seems period correct. I think they were like 60s, 70s guitars. This is so hype. Oh my god. Chef's kiss, Disney. Chef's kiss on the music. Come on, there's, this is a punk rock fashion show with Cruella de Vil at the head of it. And they got one of the punkest of punk songs, Iggy and the Stooges. I mean, proto-punk. Before there even was punk, there was Iggy. And it references dogs. It's, it's now I want to be your dog. It is 10 out of 10. She killed my dogs. Did she? And me. Brand. Goodbye, Cruella. All right, big moves, third act. Oh, jeez, I wish I could say I was surprised. The dogs are still alive. You had one job, Disney. You were supposed to turn a little orphan girl whose mama got killed by Dalmatians into a Dalmatian killer by the end of this movie. And I'm looking at the runtime. If she didn't turn them dogs into a coat, I don't think she's going to turn any into it. This is a mess. I'll tip off the press. I'd love them to know that you went out in a um, blaze of glory. <laughs> Why am I alive? Because I dragged you out of the smoky flames before they consumed you. This guy? May I show you something? <laughs> mm. Fashion really is the key. 
I knew I needed to protect you. But how? Then I saw Catherine, the sweetest woman who ever lived. She saved you. So, Cruella is kind of Moses? Or Zeus? Kind of both of those. <laughs> Unbelievable. That kid is back on the escalator again. Owning it? I'm a little bit mad. <laughs> Most everyone's mad here. <laughs> Wink to the rescue yet again. You ain't barbecue. No thanks to you. You're getting kissed right on the mouth. I don't care where it's been. Oh no, we're Disney. We can't make these guys mean to dogs. Except y'all already did, though, in 1961. Chickens. Yes! The car! You know his car's called? Magic. A devil. It's <laughs> Deville, mate. Deville. A dog is like a son to me. You're dead. Artie! I hate him. Did you, though? See, look. Hold up. He looks cool. He's supposed to be some kind of fashion genius. Uh, he's, he's the front man of their rock bands. They don't have a singer without him. And now Artie's also some kind of, like, martial artist action hero. It's Artie all day. All day. Artie! Already everybody. I, there's nobody here. There's nobody here. Well, except for Mr. Pink, of course. Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink. Get her. Final showdown. Last few minutes of the movie. Finally going to do something with these Dalmatians. Sit. Ah, uh, of course not. Disappointing. Disappointing. Oof, this is tense. I know Cruella's got some kind of a plan, but still, though. Why are you letting that woman touch you? Idiot. Oh, yeah. She jumped. She jumped. They're not all idiots. Yeah, yeah. This security guard right here, I don't know where I'm pointing. She just stole the whole movie. Forget Emma Thompson. Forget Emma uh, uh, Stone. Forget all the Emmas. This woman right here just ate up all the scenery. That look alone. Yeah, MVP of this movie. Did, okay, here we go. Quite. What's the game plan? <laughs> Fashion is her literal superpower. A well-cut skirt is a lifesaver, girls. Why's it gotta be girls? Nah, that's sexist. Mm. She was with her mother now. Ooh, that's dark. Oh, okay, I think we can do the rundown now. Estella got what she wanted, but so she's a famous fashion designer now, and her main competition, the Baroness, is out of the way in prison, but. She had to pay a heavy price for it by eliminating her competition, the Baroness. She literally put her own birth mother in prison, deservedly so, but still, a little dark, a little twisted. On top of that, she's throwing the necklace in the grave. She's literally giving up the identity of Estella. Like, that person is legally dead on paper, and now there's just Cruella de Vil, like the personality she's made up. And when she throws that necklace in and says Estella's with her mother now, she's essentially saying that good person, that kind child that her foster mother, adoptive mother, however you choose to look at her, was trying to raise, like that's over now. 
it's Cruella's out of the box and there's no going back. So we just have steps seven and eight. Like clockwork. There it is, Hell Hall, y'all. Could not be more on the nose than that. This is the return. Our protagonist has returned to her literal birthplace. I'm assuming that's where the baby was born at the beginning, where I was like, oh, this seems like a familiar place. Now here she is, back right where the story started, in Hell Hall, Hellman Hall. And that brings us to the final slice of the story circle pie, having changed. And Estella definitely did. She's literally not Estella anymore. She's Cruella, 24-7, 365. There's no going back. Uh, some other changes. She's rich now. It looks like she's got Hell Hall. She's inherited everything from her biological mother. She's presumably got that fashion empire. So she's got everything she wanted. And But I'd say probably the biggest changes are really her personality you know giving up on that way of life that her adoptive mother was trying to show her and you could see that over the course of the movie with jasper that he was like what happened to that sweet girl i think at one point he actually said i miss estella what i miss estella is it so hard to back me up no not estella that's easy but to help cruella it's a nightmare so yeah, she's, she's burned some bridges there. And I guess they kind of sort of set up how that transitions into the negative relationship that Jasper and Horace have with Cruella in 101 Dalmatians, where she treats them like henchmen. Final take. Uh, it was a lot of fun, actually. Thank you guys for suggesting that I watch the film. So it's cool that you suggested it. It was visually fascinating it was a visual feast like the fashion the uh, pyrotechnics the rock show, all that stuff super cool to look at and a really fun ride and a perfectly good story it just doesn't feel like the origin story of Cruella de Vil. these are the problems with origin stories for villains it's, it's why I really prefer the direction that they took with the Dark Knight you know where the Joker gives like a thousand and one different origins for how he got the scars on his face, why he is the way he is, and we never really get to find out. And it, I think it takes away some of the magic when we try to explain why villains are the way they are. The weakest parts of this film were, were the parts where Disney pulled punches and didn't make Cruella cruel and didn't make Jasper and Horace mean and uncaring. And I get it, that's hard to do because they're supposed to be your main characters and the number one rule if you want to make someone a villain in a movie is have them kick a puppy so you can't do that to the main character because then the audience is going to hate them all the way through so yeah disney painted themselves into a corner here but i had a lot of fun watching it anyway and i hope you guys did too